Hello friends, good afternoon all of you. So today there is a slight change that uh, engineering physics lecture. Instead of that, there will be communication skills lecture. So accordingly, I'm going to conduct it right now. Okay. So let's continue what we people did in previous session. I think that we finished the work. Okay. So let's try to go to the next part of that or remaining part of work that we people would like to just complete it in this session. So all you people just ensure that you are able to get my voice properly as well as the screen is also visible. So someone just reply with yes, no, something. Is it audible, visible properly, clearly an issue? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So let's begin that. In previous session, we people began with this uh, model auxiliary, okay? So in that, we people done with shall also. So let's pay attention and try to talk about now here with will, all right? So, uh, will is also used in future tense. So, first of all, all future tenses already I have told you that shall and will they are used everywhere. Will is also used for all future tenses simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous tense. In all future tenses, this tense is used. So, example I will be 14 March. So, here the will indicates that this is in future i will be late to the meeting tomorrow so here you'll come to know that is contracted form or you can say that is in fact i will what is it i apostrophe double l it means what that is contraction for i will okay usually there are such contractions used so if it is i apostrophe v what does it mean if i v is there i have it's I have. If sometimes you might have I apostrophe D is there. So what does it mean? I would. I had should. No, sir. Would should. Both will be. It can be I had. It can be I would. It can be I should also. It depends upon what is after that. From I D, you cannot just only say it is I had or I would. But what comes after that? Because you know usually. Uh, if, if it is I would after that uh, verb form is first form and if it is v3 form then it would be I had like this okay so yes uh, Vishal you can use will but uh, I think that in last session I have told you if it is I will that it indicates certainty if it is we will in that case it indicates certainty so we can use everywhere i will uh, that's okay these days you'll find everyone is using i will but uh, in formal situation and in maybe written communication prefer to use shall i shall or we shall wherever it is required okay okay sir fine so uh, that contraction form also you should try to know uh, i will be late to the meeting tomorrow so that is again in the future this is just just future event only expressed here all right uh, then next we people can use will for request again try to understand this request is different than what we people have just earlier uh, talked about request 
with the shower also so will you call me when you get home so here a kind of a request or you can add please also though it is request you can become more polite with the word please also so you can insert please somewhere in this sentence also will you help me with my homework or you can just see can anybody tell me other examples with requests with will you so tell me some examples with will which are request you can unmute and speak okay so it can be like this will you close the door will you come to my place will you help me will you give me a call will you come with me so there are a number of sentences request that you can make with will okay next is offer or willingness here you will get this is a kind of offer we will pay for you so here usually it is we shall okay but here it is we will and it it indicates offer if it is we shall pay for you that does not become offer that is only future tense okay if it is the we shall pay for you that is the different and uh, we will pay for you that is the different I will give you a ride home. Again, this is a kind of offer that you people can see here from this example. Then a refusal means simply not is there. So refusal is not a special case here that you people can consider here. She will not return his call. So here not is there. So that is, there is refusal. Uh, my mom won't let me go to the party. Won't means will not is here. Again, not means refusal here in negative terms not is used then it becomes refusal to say no to something or not uh, allow something like this then uh, next you people can see here that is conditional use usually it is with if conditional use of will that is with if and you know that is with again simple present tense in uh, if if condition or if clause is in simple present and then what will be the result of that will be in uh, simple future with will for example if it rains i will bring an umbrella so if it rains this is one clause it rains okay and then here is another clause that is i will bring an umbrella so here i will so that is in condition so if rains then like this if you means the rest she will be happy so like this only conditional use we all people know that we can use it so these are the some of the uses of will major request you just try to understand all we people know about the future use you just try to think of these two request and offer okay these are two major uses <coughs> okay. any other questions if any questions you can ask if no questions then we will go to the next slide is it visible next slide with can no sir. No sir. So I will share it once again. Now it might be visible. Yes sir. Yes sir. Fine. So uh, let's pay attention here with this can now. So can is again very important model in our number of sentences or day-to-day -day communication. We people use it uh, in various situation so let's try to understand with can okay so uh, first of all it's ability ability that is your what you can do that is for present tense okay ability in the present tense what you can do now or you can do in the present tense for these reasons so here you can just think what are the things what are the abilities that you people have i can speak four languages can speak what can I do? I can speak four languages. So accordingly, people just try to think what you can do and tell me some examples with ability. What you can do? I can sing a song. I can jump. I can run fast. I can speak English. I can speak French. I can go home. I can do this. I can lift the bag. I can do number of things. So what is all these things? I'm talking about my 
abilities similarly you can also talk about your inabilities also how how you can talk about inability some things that you cannot do okay some things that you cannot do for example i cannot swim i cannot fly i cannot jump okay i cannot drive so what are all those things these are my inabilities so with cannot you can express your inabilities with can you can express your abilities also okay and uh, you'll find that can is replaced with able to i am able to speak four languages but uh, with model you can express it in better way so instead of that i am able to speak you can say i can speak then next is your possibility next use of can we people use it to express possibility in the present and that says smoking can cause cancer smoking can cause cancer okay so uh, you you can relate it with other examples okay uh, for example it can rain it can rain okay or it can be dangerous it can be dangerous so something like that you people have to understand how we can express possibility with these uh, model auxils uh, can the next is permission also in interrogative that becomes permission if you ask like this can i use your book can i use your book you are asking in fact okay so that is informal permission and that's why i have told you if you want to if you want to just ask something to your friend that becomes informal okay and if you are asking something and if it is informal for example while entering into the class what you have to ask can you say can i come in sir or may i come in sir both come in sir so there it is may i come in why there may i come in because you will come to know that classroom is a formal situation there you cannot say can i come in sir because can is used for informal you can ask your friend can i use your pen can i use your book can i use your or maybe mobile something like this so there you are asking and that is for informal permission request also similar can you hand me the pen so here is a kind of request that you can make so here you will not find much difference again th this can be request also both can be request here you will find can i use your book please that becomes permission as well as request also how permission you are asking can i use and here you are uh, maybe in another words you are requesting also okay so therefore uh, you just try to understand the next is of offer is here so this says can i help you so that becomes of uh, can i take your bag if someone is there and who is carrying a bag which seems heavy bag okay and you wanted to help that person in that case you can say can i help you can i take your bag or uh, can i give you some money something like this if you come to know that your friend he or she does not have money and uh, you want to offer some money so you can say can you give me uh, can i give you some money so something like that you people can use it cannot already we people spoke about that is inability or something is not allowed it, you cannot smoke here you cannot jump here you cannot talk loud in loud voice here something like that which is not allowed which is can't which is inabilities something like this you people can think here so these are the some of the examples with model can any questions about can here if not then we'll go to the next slide and that is with could now if you understand can so could is past of can okay could is past of can but it can also use in present also let's see uh, for ability could also expresses ability but that ability in past how i could play guitar when i was child i could play guitar when i was a child so here 
that is in the past i was a child that tells us that this that was my ability but it was in the past now i cannot play the guitar but it was in the my childhood so that is into the past again could express as possibility can express as possibility in the present could express as possibility in the past so you can say a lot of crime could be prevented so here you'll come to that is could be and what is meaning of could be so could be prevented but reality or factors fact is what now it it was not uh, it any action was not taken so crime was not prevented lot of crime took place but it could be prevented thambavla jau shakla asta pan to thambalela nahi hai something like this that is in the past past possibility with could like this again uh, here that is permission and now it is not in the past okay this is in present remember this can be in present and example that you people can see here could we go home now so it becomes a kind of permission you are asking maybe someone and uh, it becomes permission in the present again it becomes request also could you lend me this book could you lend me this book okay so this becomes a kind of request next is suggestion i could help you with english okay again a kind of situation that you people need to think that maybe your friend is there who is struggling with english and you are there and you know how to solve a particular answer so in that case you are suggesting i could help you with english suggestion or offer again it, it can become offer also because you are offering your help to your friend and conditional of can so like conditional of can could also be used but it is in the past see example it says i could visit many places if i had more money i could visit have i visited no i have not visited when i could visit if i had more money in that case so do i have more money no i don't have money so it is in the past so that is again conditional in the past okay so this way we people can use could also so any other questions about could if you have questions you can ask if there is difficulty to understand you can ask so any questions vishal any questions no sir okay fine then let's talk next model verb that is may may again we people use in our day to day communication mostly we people use may also and that is for request okay how to make request with me may i have some water please so if you are just in a restaurant and where you are just sitting and maybe there is a waiter or attendant someone and you are thirsty and you want some water in that case how can i ask that waiter so you can say may i have some water please okay or maybe another uh, you might have heard about a kind of announcement is there and these people announce like this may i have your attention please okay so here again this is kind of request mean that these people maybe usually with uh, some noise or noisy places at the uh, maybe airport or bus stand railway station you people can listen such kind of announcements where they wanted to attract your attention by this request may i have your attention please so something like this is announced or may i use your book this becomes request and then for permission already we people have discussed it when you people wanted to enter into the class where your teacher is already in the classroom in such case you have to ask for permission and that becomes polite and formal as well so you have to say may i come in sir okay you know that many students they call it my come in sir so that is not my come in it is may i come in sir okay that you people have to note it maybe while entering into the office maybe your boss is there and you wanted to enter his cabin so that time you have to ask you have to knock on the door and you have to ask may I come in sir may I come in ma'am something like this or maybe students may travel for free so that again become permission 
then uh, next prohibition means something is not allowed something is not permitted no permission is there you may not smoke in my house so here you'll come to know there is no permission to smoke in my house you may not step on the grass so again here you're not allowed to step on the grass then uh, next use possibility so that is again we people use it for example if i say it may snow tomorrow it may rain today something like this okay or uh, it may start now if there is function and uh, uh, maybe just someone is asking when it is going to start in that case i'm just expressing the possibility it may start now so it may start now so kind of possibility okay it may rain today possibility he may have forgotten about the party so may have forgotten so that is the possibility and then last one that is wish so when there is birthday of your friend in that case what what do people do you wish your friend some birthday wishes with me so how do we express your wish of birthday to your friend with me may your dream come true may god bless you okay? or may you live long may you get all happiness and help so something like this or may live the republic long may live the republic something are some wishes are there or maybe after death of person also we people express some uh, messages with wish also uh, death wish also like this uh, may he lie in peace may his soul lie in peace may he rest in peace so something like this we people use so for wish also we people use may okay so this is about may so any questions here aditi any questions no sir fine then let's go to might here okay so uh, might might is past of me but it can be all used in present also let's try to understand might can be used for suggestion okay so how to use might for suggestion here the people can just try to think what is given there is a lot of traffic today so you might want to leave for work early so this is the suggestion you might want to leave okay so it it is up to you whether you want to leave or not but this is the suggestion why because there is a lot of traffic so therefore you might want to leave for work early you might want to take a break okay you might want to take rest you might want to do this you might want to do that just replace these examples with your own sentences then only you people will understand because one or two examples are not sufficient to understand how these particular model auxiliaries are used in a different situations okay so therefore you just try to make your own sentences then only you will understand next is conditional use okay so conditional use again with if that you people will get might if i had studied more if I had studied more, I might have passed the exam. Again, a uh, in or a kind of possibility that you people will find here. If I had studied more, I might have passed the exam. Okay. So here, the reality: I had not studied and I have not passed. That is the fact. But if I had studied more, I might have might have passed. The possibility. So that is in the past this is into past but it can be into present also if i enter the contest i might win again this is also possibility conditional possibility that you can understand if i enter the contest okay if i enter i might win possibility if you ask her out she might say yes this is again possibility conditional possibility so these two are into present these two are present and this one is in past so you can use in past and present as well 
and might can also be used for possibility so plain possibility that you people are able to see okay so here it says she might have missed a class because she was sick she wasn't feeling well last week okay so she might have missed the class because she was sick so here you'll come to know the reason that we are expecting or why she missed the class she was not feeling well last week so therefore the possibility is that she might have missed the class so this way you can express possibility they might be on their way now might be okay so you can just say other examples he might be at home he might be at the library she might be in the uh, maybe garden okay or it might rain tomorrow here also might rain it may rain tomorrow and it might rain tomorrow both words express possibility so which word expresses more possibility may or might which expresses more possibility may yes so you people need to understand if i say it might rain tomorrow and it may rain tomorrow the possibility of raining is more with may and less with might so all you people try to note this difference so this is all about might okay i think that uh, we people left some uh, must is here so we'll talk about must now next is must so must is used for certain things where compulsion is there compulsion or obligation is there something that has to be done in such case the people can use must okay so uses of must obligation obligation something is obligatory something is compulsory something is uh, has to be done in such case or it can be a duty also now let's say example you must wear a seat belt when you drive must wear means you have to wear you have to wear seat belt without wearing seat belt it will not work you should not drive again so you must wear a seat belt you must eat all of your vegetables must eat okay khallats paaje je uti ts lag na khallats paaje ts that is expressed with must okay then uh, next is deduction so deduction is here a kind of guess which is usually true okay most of the times it is true 99% it is true such a deduction look at all that snow it must be cold outside okay so looking at the snow you you are deducting it you are just uh, making your opinion and that is true that is going to be true because there is snow and there is a lot of snow it means there might be cold outside must be cold outside okay so look at all that snow it must be cold outside so mostly it is true i heard a noise upstairs mary must be at home okay so mary must be at home so here also so from the noise you made a conclusion you made your statement opinion that mary must be at home why because there is noise upstairs and that noise uh might have made by mary only and from that only i say mary must be at home then next is necessary uh, emphasize necessity for that also you people can express it with must plants must have light and water to grow must have something is necessary something is mandatory something is required in such case you people can use must here like this example plants must have must have okay there has to be you must study if you want good grades must study when you when you must study if you want to good grades then next is strong, strong recommendation we must get together for dinner soon okay we must get together for dinner soon a kind of recommendation okay these cupcakes are yummy you must try one must try that is again recommendation okay then uh, here you will get positive assumption that is 
in the past with the structure like must have and then past participle that must have been my mother calling me while i was in the meeting no one else has my private phone number here also it is a kind of assumption it is a kind of again a guess what kind of guess because i was getting a call when i was in meeting and uh, i did not receive the call but my opinion my guess is that my mother might be calling me because uh, no one else has my private number so that must be from my mother only okay so what is this Saili? Saili Bosley. So some semicolon I got in chat box. Okay. So this way you people can use this structure must have and then past participle. Okay. But remember here these uh, these should be the conditions that you people have to follow and that is for all model auxiliary. This is not for only must. But for all model auxiliaries, after model auxiliary, the main verb is always V1 or base form of verb that is used here. He, okay, uh, the base form of the infinitive to go, to study, to speak, etc. But with must, it will be must go, must study, must speak. He must stop it should not be must because you know in third person singular we people use yes or yes to main word for example he plays here it is plays okay why it is plays because it is third person singular so it is plays but not here he must is wrong what is correct he must stop that is correct similar you must to go no to is required no infinitive no preposition to it should be only you must go it is going to be right again uh, she must wait no yes to the this verb form also it should be she must wait okay and here is another views that is mustn't if you have to pronounce it as a mustn't and it means must not meaning is something is not allowed something is prohibited something we shouldn't done okay so it is prohibited it is not allowed you mustn't use your phone while driving so mustn't means you are not allowed or you should not use your cell phone while driving so this is about must so let me know whether you got it whether you understand it or there is some difficulties to understand everything is clear Mustn't. Okay, all right. Mustn't is nothing but must not. If you understand, it, you go to Kelit Spaje, it is at a must. Okay, it goes to Kelit Spaje, it is at a must. It goes to Kelit Snai Paje, it goes to Karut Snai, it is at a must not. You mustn't. Okay, another example I will give you here. Mustn't or must not. You can just try to. You mustn't sleep during the lecture. Okay. So you mustn't sleep. Zopla nahi paise. Kadi during lecture like this. Okay. Or you mustn't. play with the wire you mustn't play must not play with the wire so something like this examples means something is not allowed something is not uh, okay something is shouldn't be done strongly not allowed for that you, you have to use mustn't understand sir okay fine Any other? Ajun kunala karat. No Marathi no vichala turi chalta hai. Prashno no Marathi no vichala turi chalta. But you should speak.
all right so these were the few more luxuries there are many um, many more that your people have to find it out in different uses because we have not added have after must have done must have not done or should have done should have not done so this is again uh, yes we shall that's right you mustn't cheat in the exam that is okay yes sir So here we will just talk about some uh, next should is there again should is left also. So now pay attention to the should. Uh, you know major use of should that is for suggestion or advice. You know ki whenever you people are getting some advice from other people or you want to give advice to someone else, use should. Okay. Uh, how? Let's see some examples. You should take rest. You should study hard. You should do some exercise. You should save money. You should you can have number of examples okay like this so uh, here your hair is too long you should get a hair cut so should this is a kind of suggestion which should kai karav e karav ya sa karav tasa karav asa karu nahi you people can use should here in all these situations <coughs> okay situation likely in the present mary should be at home now give her a call so again a kind of possibly should be at home asaila havi meri atta ghari asaila havi like this give her a call likely in the future this is in present you can use it for future also they should win tonight they are a better team so based on let's say uh, you're watching some matches okay and out of that your assumption is this that out of these four five teams one particular team is playing well and your assumption is that or you are expecting that that team should win so they should win tonight they are a better team so like this also people can use again similar kind of structure here should have and past participle that is just something that you people were expected to do in the past but you could not do it you can use this structure should have past participle see one example meaning the subject did not fulfill their obligation in the past or did not act responsibly from this example you can understand it better you should have given your boss the report yesterday when he asked for it should have given no. So here did not act responsibly or did not fulfill their obligation. That is the meaning. You can see another example. You should have studied more. Take the sentence. You should have studied more. To just the best karala hawa hotas. But the best killera na result might be you might have failed. Okay, something like this. Uh, then uh, one more structure that you people will get here should then be and then main verb with ing form it means the subject is not fulfilling their obligation now or is not acting sensibly that is in the past so you can use this and at that time you people can use this structure okay so see one example you should be wearing your seat belt this is not right now you are not wearing a uh, seat belt right now and in such case if someone someone is telling to you you should be wearing your seat belt or it can be different situation uh, your friend is there and he is not wearing seat belt and you found it that he is not wearing seat belt and you wanted him to wear seat belt in that case you can say this sentence you should be wearing your seat belt like this you people can say or you should be studying for the test right now okay so let's say uh, after one hour there is test okay and for the test uh, you are expected to study but your friend is not studying he's just uh, killing time and just passing time and maybe doing something else and you are there so you are warning your friend with this you should be studying for the test right now okay like this you people can you should uh, should and ought to are similar you can replace them with each other so you can replace should with ought to or you can replace ought to with should should can be replaced with ought to without a change in meaning you ought to study more you should study more both means same there is no difference in meaning 
or two sounds more formal than should and is used less frequently okay what is case with ought to ought to means that is formal and that is very rarely you will find you will find a maximum more commonly frequently should is used we use shouldn't to advise not to do something already i have told you if should means kai tari karava asa asel tar shouldn't means kai karu nahi yacha sathi usually because it is bad or wrong okay or it is sometimes uh, immoral illegal for such things you people can you shouldn't you shouldn't throw your litter onto the street okay shouldn't throw or you shouldn't your waste time you shouldn't waste your time so this is like this he shouldn't play with uh, those wires he, he doesn't know what he is doing shouldn't play with wires you shouldn't work so much because maybe from the condition it seems that you need some rest and still you are working hard in such case you can say you shouldn't work so much okay then let's go to the next here and this one is would that we people will talk here so major use of would remember for these two for offer for request and habit in the past these three major uses we will consider here so if we had a car we would drive to work conditional use jar amcha kade car asti tar okay so that is condition in the past we would drive to work if he if he had gone to the party he would have seen a lot of his friends again this is condition in the past as we people have studied these kind of conditions earlier also with might with uh, maybe again should also so if i if he had gone to the party jar party la gela asta tar okay but reality the situation that he did not went uh, he did not go and he did not see a lot of friends request would you lend me a pen please so that it comes again polite request so i'll recommend when you want to make a request you can make it with would would you give me your pen would you close the door would you come with me or would you uh, give me your mobile would you lend me some money so there are number of situations that people can think where you can make a request with would okay i would like more coffee please so maybe again this is when you are into a canteen or restaurant or maybe into cafe and where you want you expect more coffee to drink in such case how you can make a request there you can say i would like more coffee please so this way you people can make a request with would uh then next is uh, you can make offer with would again this is polite offer would you like me to drive you home okay so would you like me drive to home it means that you are going to drop someone home okay you are going to drop someone home maybe usually it is with your bike or your vehicle with your car in such case you can offer somebody like this would you like me to drive you home would you care to join us for dinner you are asking someone to come and join us for dinner okay so this becomes offer a uh, future in the past so future in the past in the sense you are expected something should happen but it did not happen like this we thought we would arrive on time but we were late okay what happened we thought we were expected to reach in time but what happened did we reach no what happened we were late so that kind of examples that uh, we were expecting <coughs> we were expressing them in the future but what happened they are into the past and that is again as uh, not as per expected and important uses about habit in the past something that you used to do so here you people can relate it with used to do okay used to do you might have questions in your 10th or 12th replace used to do with would or would with used to you can simply replace when i lived in the country i would go for a walk in the woods every day okay you can say the same with here replace with used to i used to go also that is okay, okay. 
uh, I used to go for gym when I was uh, young. Okay, you can say I would go to gym when I was young. That is also possible. So used to and would they express same meaning? That is past habit, which was discontinued. Okay, so it was in the past. Right now, it is not going on. For example, the sentence I said, I used to go gym or I would go to gym when I was young. In that case, right now I do not go to gym. It was in the school, that time only I was going. Or uh, he used to smoke. If it is he used to smoke in that case, it was in the past that he was smoking. Right now, he uh, quit his smoking. He left his smoking like this. So these were the some model auxiliaries that we people have discussed here. Primary auxiliary I have already told you we people are not going to discuss them for do we people discussed do does in present did in the past for have we people have talked have and has in the present had in the past to be emis are in present was were in the past. So uh, overall the primary eleven and model auxiliary 13 so out of that can could may might shall should will would or to need to dare to that we will just talk in few seconds okay how much time is there last 10 minutes are there so let's talk about need to so what is meaning of need to it expresses necessity म्हणजे गरज आहे कधी गोष्टीची गरज आहे फॉर एग्जांपल यू नीड टू स्टडी हार्ड अभ्यास करण्याची गरज आहे यू नीड टू टेक रेस्ट जस्ट मला असं यू वांटेड टू से यू वांटेड टू शो नेसेसिटी इन सच केस यू पीपल कैन यूज दिस नीड टू देन यूज्ड टू आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट इज फॉर पास्ट हैबिट डेयर टू डेयर टू इज फॉर Ex, uh, to express courage okay so when you wanted to express uh, something with courage that time you can use it with the dare to uh, you might have heard number of examples how dare you to come here how dare you uh, to touch my back something like this dare not to go there alone okay then uh, need to dare to use to i have already mentioned that is past habit Me, <coughs> fine so these were the few model auxiliaries that we people have discussed if you have any questions you can ask me otherwise uh, just make it sure that you people are uh, using such model auxiliaries when you want it to speak something write something so that time you are using them correctly as per the need of your context people try to use them All right, so let's take attendance and then we will close it here. So there are some students who are joining within last five minutes also for the sake of attendance, but don't do these things. You have to join sessions regularly on time. So roll number 15 absent. Twenty absent. Forty percent, forty two percent, sixty three percent. So, option numbers are fifteen, twenty, forty, forty two, and sixty three.
all right uh, so last one two three water minutes are there just tell me those students are who are from my batch others can leave those who are having scholarship issues forms those who have filled online to submit it they can also leave so uh, route what happened route sir zali purna aaj bharto as college var ayu ka saka जो कॉलेज वरती आला तर लगेच यायला लागेल मला परत लेक्चर असणार आहे तीन वाजता हो आता येऊ का आता समजा तुम्ही आला तरी सर आता सध्या मी विचारलं नेट कॅप म्हणजे नेट प्रॉब्लेम आहे म्हणून वेबसाईट चालेल नाही असं हां मग तसं पण होऊ शकते इकडे समजा कॉलेज वरती आला तरी असं हेल्प पटा वगैरे होतो एखादा सो इट इन जस्ट ट्राय बघा तसं झालं तर नसेल तर मग सकाळी लवकर या असं दुपारनं वगैरे आलं की काही होत नाही फॉर्म भरून चला उद्या सर उद्या सर ते असणार आहे हॉल उद्या सुट्टी असेल तुम्ही हा बघा उद्या तुम्ही तिथं बघा कॅफे मध्ये परवा दिवशीच्या वगैरे नाही तर झालं तर मग कॉलेज वर अलविरा शेख फोर्टी सेव्हन आहेत का सर उद्या भरते मिळाली का कास्ट वाली डिटेल हा मिळाली चालेल ठीक आहे मी बोला बाकी कुणाचा अजून कुणाचा इश्यू होता दुसरा बाकी कुणाचा इश्यू नव्हता बाकी सगळ्यांची व्यवस्थित आहे जे कुणी नसेल भरलं तर सी यु विल बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल जे काही फीज असणार आहे ते तुम्हाला भरावं लागणार आहे त्यामुळं इट विल बी ऑलवेज बेटर की पटकन आपण आपलं काम करून घे हा फिफ्टी फोर काय झालं भरलं का सरांकडून भरतो म्हटलं होतं ना वैभव let it be okay fine so we'll stop here i will end this meeting for all thank you for joining today and do join for the next session also so i will end this meeting for all should i end this meeting for all